guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this new NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. I'm going to demo the product. I'm going to give you my thoughts. I'm going to do a full face of makeup for you, um, the look that I'm wearing right now. And I'm going to use a few new products that I've gotten recently too. So if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on the new NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint, then just keep watching. So today I'm going to use my NARS Velvet Matte, and I'm in the shade Light 2 Alaska. So this has got an SPF of 30, which is so great for spring and summer coming up. And they come in a quite a few different shades. So the bottle looks like this. And it's really great because it has a squeeze tube. I'm not going to prime my face because I want to see how well this guy holds up without a primer. I picked up a new beauty blender. It is just the nude one. And I thought this would be good because you can totally see how gross that your beauty blender will get when you've used it a few times and it's getting ready to get cleaned. And I just don't like how like the pink or the black shows through. Um, and I feel like this will be a little bit better um, to kind of hide that. So... I got the Nude Beauty Blender. It looks like this. It's a basic beauty blender. Um, it feels, maybe just because it's new, it feels a little different. I'm just going to use a little bit of this NARS at first. I'm going to put some out on the back of my hand. You can see right there. It's a really pretty shade. And this is supposed to give you just a really pretty matte finish, but not... From what I heard, it's not too matte. So um, hopefully it's a little bit better than the Dream Velvet by Maybelline. So the coverage um, at first, if you can see that, is like really good. So the color is a little, it's pretty perfect. It's just maybe like a tad bit yellow, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna apply this all over the face with my beauty blender oh I love that so pretty okay so this cheek is done and this cheek this was still like a great time to test foundations to see the coverage um, because I have some guys hanging out with me so we will see how well these guys cover it covered that Maybe not that one, but the other ones it covered really well. So I may need a little concealer for that one. It feels really, really like undetectable on my skin. Like it's not staying like wet or anything and it's so silky soft. So if you can see, that's just really evened out my skin tone. It's a perfect shade. You can see there. Oh, I just love this. I need to conceal that guy right there, but that's okay because he was pretty uh, out there. I'm gonna do just a little bit more for my forehead. I love that this is a squeeze tube, so sanitary. It doesn't let you waste a ton of product. I feel like with my makeup forever, I waste so much product because I can't get down into the bottle. So when I get up close, I don't notice that it's settling into any of my fine lines. It's not clinging to the dry patches that I have on my nose. You guys, this foundation is fantastic. I hope you guys can see um, on the computer end or phone end because in person and when I look at my viewfinder over here, it is really, really pretty and very natural. It's like your skin, but perfected. I'm gonna let that foundation kind of sit on my face and we'll see if it moves around or does anything. I don't think it's going to. I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever HD and this is the shade R30. I have a little bit of darkness under my eyes because I'm pretty tired. Um, so I'm just gonna apply just a little bit of this in between the forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and of course on that guy right there. And I always kind of wipe the end of that off. And you can spray the end of that for uh, sanitary reasons. I love this concealer. It's virtually undetectable on the skin. There's a wide variety of shades, so I think anyone can pretty much find their shade. And it does a great job of concealing and correcting so I just take that over the eyelid underneath the eye oh it works so good I 
I got my lash extensions done again and I absolutely love them. I cannot be without them. Oh my gosh, my lashes, I'm telling you guys, they look so much better with lash extensions. Okay, so I've got a concealer done. So I'm gonna warm up my face with my MAC Studio Fix. This is NC45, my MAC 129 brush. I just do a light dusting all over the face, focusing on those cheekbones. I'm gonna use my small tapered blush brush from Bare Minerals and my MAC Melba. I love this blush. You can see it's just a beautiful peachy pink, perfect for spring and summer. I've used this all year round absolutely love it I just apply that to the tops of my cheekbones and I'm not gonna do any um, eyeshadow but I am gonna fill in my brows I'm gonna use this new for me it's new the it cosmetics uh, universal brow pencil I love this brow pencil if you saw my last tutorial that was the first time I had used it and I absolutely love it I don't really need a ton of filling in for my brows but this just is the perfect shade and I just fill in the tail just a little bit. You can hear Tucker's uh, squeaky toy down there. I'm going to use my Hourglass um, strobing powder and this is in the shade Iridescent. So it's got a little bit of a pink undertone. I'm just going to use my blush brush with the tops of the cheekbones. Really pretty. I'm also going to try this new mascara that I got. It is the Feather Noir by Marc Jacobs. And this is the skinny liner that they came out with. And I'm gonna use it for my lower lashes. So let's see how this does. You literally can get every single lash with this mascara. So pretty, look at that. Look at the difference in this eye and this eye love this mascara. This is a must have. It's like perfectly natural. Like it just looks like my lashes. Oh my gosh. I love this mascara. Literally looks just like my lashes, but 20 times better. I hope you guys can see that. Oh, so, so pretty. I'm going to do just a little bit on my lash extensions. This is like the most clump free mascara I've ever had. Of course I need my lashes filled but that's a different story. I hope you guys can tell like how good it is. It's not clumpy. It's very natural. It's like your lashes but better. Like everything we've ever wanted in a mascara is right here so go get it. So for my lips, I'm gonna pick something from my lip kit. This is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip. And I know that this has been sold out, that's why I haven't done a review on it, but these are just too pretty for me not to use. So um, I have a few different things here. I have a NARS, a Laura Mercier. Um, I am gonna use this pout liner from Marc Jacobs, so we'll start out with that. Um, this is, I think, Primrose. Mm, I'm not for certain. I'll make sure I list it down in the description bar, but I'm just going to line my lips with this. Just a beautiful rosy pink. I'm going to fill in the sides just a little bit. These are the creamiest lip liners. Definitely my favorite formula of lip liner. So that was the lip liner. And let's use this NARS lipstick in Dolce Vita. So this comes in the lip kit, and that is just the prettiest nude. It's a little bit of a rosy nude. And I think it's going to go great with this lip liner. These smell like rosemary. They smell so good. This goes perfectly with that lip liner. Mmm, I love this. Oh, this NARS lipstick is so good. Smells like rosemary and it feels so good. So this is a must. If you don't have Dolce Vita by NARS, pick this up. It's so good. So this is the look and you guys, I love the NARS Velvet Foundation. It is holding up. I'm looking in the mirror and it hasn't it hasn't settled into any lines. Uh, look at my viewfinder and it just looks like 
my skin but better I mean I really think I have got a winner on my hands and obviously like this guy is just there to stay like he's not even being concealed with the makeup forever concealer but I think that this foundation is a total win SPF 30 I did notice um, I was going to get something a second ago and I did notice like I could smell the sunscreen and I don't particularly like that but the foundation is so good that I don't even care for $44 1.7 ounces is a really good deal that's a lot of foundation that's almost double the foundation that you would get normally um, so a lot of my foundations are a lot more than $44 or right at $44 and I'm only getting an ounce so that's a really really good deal and you're getting that SPF 30 so that's a great deal um, it is oil free I did want to mention that it wears so comfortably like my skin like I don't even feel like I have on makeup right now so I just absolutely like I can't feel it it's not sticky it's not settling it's just literally made my skin look perfected like what more could we want from a foundation all in all I say this foundation is a definite a plus for me um, I can recommend it to you guys you know fully I think that if you are on the fence about it go get a sample Sephora is so great about giving samples and I think that there are, is definitely a shade that you could find uh, to fit your needs. So that's my final thoughts on the NARS Matte Skin Tint. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, this is a new Stella and Dot necklace. I absolutely love it. I'm going to haul it in a video. I have the matching earrings. This top is from Target. I love the olive. Obviously, I wear it in like every video. Um, and the thermal that I wear, I get a lot of questions about. That is also from Target. So um, this is really cute. It has slits on the side. I will do an outfit of the day really soon wearing this and you guys know about my makeup oh and my watch is um, just a Michael Kors watch I love it I've had it for a really long time and it's held up great I think it was like 200 bucks so for a good watch that is um, you know not very expensive so love this watch I will link everything down below if you have any questions just drop me a comment down in the down bar and I would love to hear from you let me know if you have tried this NARS foundation I would love to know what you think about it be sure to tell me your skin type so I can recommend it to my oily people out there and feel confident about doing that if you haven't checked out my blog please do the link is in the description bar thank you so much for watching I will see you again real soon bye